Hey guys, Wonder Hussy here. I'm at the Whiteman Airport in Pacoima, California, getting ready to go on this amazing flight with my friend here who generously offered to fly my sister and I around all over the Mojave Desert today. We're gonna fly over Death Valley and look at many of the places where I've uh, explored. So I'll point out those to you as we're flying around. But we're here in Pacoima, which is in the San Fernando Valley, like north of Los Angeles. And the plan is we're gonna make a big loop. We're gonna go north across Mojave, the town of Mojave, or stop in Mojave at the airport there, get breakfast, and then continue on north all the way up over the Panamint Mountains, circle around north over the racetrack playa, Saline Valley, and then come back down along the 395. So it should be a, an amazing flight and a, it's a beautiful day for it. I mean, the weather here at this airport is friggin' awesome. There's not a cloud in the sky. Everyone's got their little planes parked here. It's really a cool place. So we're just gassing up now and cleaning the windows and getting everything ready so that we can take off. We made it to our first stop. We're here in Mojave, the Mojave Air and Spaceport. I don't know if you can see the sign behind me there, but this is where they, I think this is where they do a lot of that SpaceX stuff, like Elon Musk and all those new crazy um, rockets that they're trying to launch into space. Really interesting. So it's just like a little regional airport and there's a fueler and pilot's lounge. There's a restaurant. All your needs are met at this awesome airport. There's also an airplane graveyard out here where they keep all these old jumbo jets. Um, my friend, the pilot, was just telling me that after 9-11, a lot of air, uh, airlines got rid of a lot of their old jets because uh, air travel was down so much and a lot of them ended up out here. So, Welcome to the Voyager. Here's the specials for today. All right, we're here at the restaurant at the Mojave Airport. We're gonna order some breakfast because we have a long day ahead of us and we need some nourishment. So check out this awesome menu. So many cool options to order here. They serve breakfast all day. So they've got all these cool like uh, aircraft theme names like the Blackbird, the Lancer, the Valkyrie, the F-22. High altitude unnamed aircraft, that's steak and eggs. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Look at that, the crash landing. The perfect landing. Oh, yeah, that's bad luck. I won't order that. And then down here we got omelets that are all named after the tower, the needle, the glide slope, the transponder. I love it. So I want to have breakfast because it's only like 1030 in the morning. But you could also order, you know, regular stuff like chicken strips and quesadillas. I guess none of these have fun aviation names. Oh, by the way, this has a $100 burger. I think that's just kind of a joke because the gas that it costs to fly into these places just to have a $10 burger, it's actually more like a hundred, two hundred, or million dollar burger. How about that? But no, I'm not having a burger. I'm gonna do the on track cactus and eggs. Cactus and eggs, it seems like just the thing to eat. I mean, we are flying over the desert today, so cactus and eggs seems like the only thing to do. 
Okay, while I'm waiting for my food, I gotta show you guys around this amazing restaurant. There's a lot of really cool stuff on the walls. Look, here's Bert Rutan, the triumph of a lofty vision. He must be some pilot. Look at all these cool pilots. Look at that guy. Look at this, Super Guppy. You guys ever see one of these? Aerospace lines. It says here that it was the world's largest airplane. Look, here's spaceport postcards. Mm, might need to get one of these. Oh wait, look, a message board. Just happened to see this and I got, look at this, here's all the notes that all the pilots leave for each other. How cute. House cleaning service wanted. Ain't got time to clean my own house, I'm busy flying. Look at this, Dear Flugabenteuer. It's a German air, something to do with airplanes. See what's down this way. Oh wow, look at this guy. <laughs> Brian Binney. You guys know Brian Binney? He's a patriot. Look at Spaceship One. Wow, that is so cool. A Paul G. Allen project. Man, I love it when people with money use their money for cool stuff like this. Here's the SS1 with Sir Richard Branson. Look at Richard Branson just sitting on the tailgate, kicking his heels. Aww. Oh, wow, look at this. This is cool. I guess it's like a time lapse of a plane. Wait, here's a picture of Richard Branson. Look. Richard Branson was here at this airport. Wah. Look at this one. This, somebody took this picture from the Challenger at 200 miles altitude in August of 85. That's where we are. That's cool. Wow, there's a ton of cool pictures in this hallway. Oh, look at this. History will be made June 21st. Where will you be? Spaceship One, the world's first private manned space flight. Oh, wow, cool. I guess that took off out of here. Whoa, look at this experimental aircraft. Sorry, the reflection is so bad on the glass. Look at that. Look at this. This was the Pond Racer. Powered by 2,000 horsepower methanol burning race car engines. Wow. Such a trip. Oh, look how cool this poster is from the Mojave 78. California National Air Races. Oh, wow. I love that. Oh, man, I guess they have this air race here every year, huh? Or, I don't know. Maybe they only did it in the 70s. Okay, unfortunately, uh, the waitress told us that breakfast would take a long time to get ready because they're busy right now, and the short order cook would have to make the eggs. It was too complicated. So we had to get lunch. So I went with the B-17, which is turkey. And Swiss, look at this. Ah, mm, 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 yeah, that B17 is delicious. And it came with a side of fries. And a friend of mine recently was telling me that a really good way to eat French fries is if you put sugar on them instead of what? salt. What? Yeah, because then it tastes. Yeah, then it tastes like. Uh, kind of, it tastes like uh, what do you call it? Potato funnel pancakes. Cake? Yeah, like funnel cakes. Mm. Whew, they're hot, but very good. Mm. Sugar in the morning, sugar in the evening, sugar at supper time. When you put sugar on your french fries, you can have sugar anytime. Whew, that sandwich and sugar fries was delicious. But now it's time to get back in the plane and go on to our next stop. We have many more miles to go before we sleep today. Okay, pilot's preparing the plane to take off. While he's doing that, I'll just give you guys a little tour around for any of you aviation buffs that are watching. See this cute little Cessna? Great little aircraft. It was a really smooth ride over here. One or two bumps going over the mountains. That was about it.
come back here and camp out among the pinnacles? Wouldn't that be cool? Under a full moon, the stars out here would be out of control. blighted, half-deserted little town like Trona has some interesting cultural attractions like this amazing gallery of spiritual life. Fran, gallery of spiritual life. Assuming this must have been the bathroom because there's a bathtub and then that looks like where the toilet was so that little cabinet must have been right there. sound system. Okay, check this out. This is where we stayed. This is Stella's cabin. Pretty big single room. in the door. Well look, best coffee in town. <laughs> wow! This is not a BLM volunteer cabin like most of the adopted cabins that you stay in. This is a private cabin but he welcomes everybody to stay here. Okay, so this was supposedly Charles Manson's old truck. Some say it belonged to Tex Watson, Charles Manson's lieutenant. But one thing that everyone agrees on is that these stars on the ceiling were supposedly painted there by the Manson girls. Are you guys ready to go in the cabin? Enough beating around the bush. Let's see what is inside. Wow, holy cannoli. Little shoe tree. It's like somebody, I don't know if that's somebody's sleeping bag or is just there for a loner. Look, we 
we made it to the albatross, man. Isn't this amazing? I mean, it's horrible in one sense, but everybody on board was able to parachute out so nobody died in this crash. This is absolutely astonishing. It's like a field of snow and it just goes on and on as far as the eye can see. So now there's not much left here but a bunch of busted up trailers and decay. I mean, look at this stuff, it's crazy junk everywhere, right on the edge of this creepy...